it's time. It's that week. You know, State Fair is here. Somebody's coming from up north, coming down here to Big D. And they're coming to play us in the Red River Shootout. Not showdown, shootout. You all know who they are, the Oklahoma Sooners. Who are they coming to play, you ask? They're coming to play the Texas Longhorns. And it's going to be a one hell of a game. Let me tell you that. Jalen Hurts, Sam Ellinger, two defenses that have been, that have played, you know, you know, one's played a lot better than they have been playing. The other, they, they've been playing pretty good too as far as conference play goes, you know. Sure, they had a bad performance against LSU, but they've been playing great, you know, so far. Two offenses that can score at will. Lots of points are going to be put up. I don't think this is going to be a blowout. I think this is going to be very close. I think, as a Texas fan, because I'm biased, I think we're going to win this game. You know, and say what you will, but man, oh man, is it going to be exciting to watch Jalen Hurt and Sam Ellinger um, duke it out, you know. It, it's going to be one heck of a game. I'm excited. We're all excited. And, you know, that's that's really, that's really the main game of the day. There's no other game that can top that, you know, no matter what you say. You know, it's going to be a fantastic game, and I'm so excited to watch them horns play against Oklahoma. I'm excited. I know you're excited. There's going to be a lot of points put up, you know. It's going to be Oklahoma's first real test, you know. Say what you will about Kansas and all the other opponents they played. You know, this is their first real test, you know. That This will probably be Oklahoma's, maybe their only test, aside from Baylor or Oklahoma State. Maybe West Virginia. Uh, I don't think so, but. You know, let's just get it started here, you know, with the other games that are um, going on as well. You know, you got Virginia. They're ranked number 20 right now. Um, taking on Miami. Now, Miami, um, they, they beat Virginia Tech. I think Virginia, I can't remember who blew the game, but I think, I want to say, it was, I, don't, I don't know. All I know is that Virginia's going to win this game. Colorado, Oregon, this could be fun, you know, Colorado. Good spoil, uh, good spoil. Another Pac-12 team's hopes and dreams right then and there. You know, Oregon has still has one loss, but you know it could all change on Friday night. And then you know, get to the Saturday slate. South Carolina's taking on Georgia. I think Georgia will win that one, but it won't be it won't be easy for Georgia. You know, Memphis taking on Temple. That's going to be a sneaky good game right there. You know, Memphis is undefeated. Temple has one loss. It's the American that could give Memphis some quality wins on their schedule because I think uh, there's a small, small chance, um, you know, bigger than the Pac-12 chances right now, uh, but there's a chance that the American sneak their way um, somewhere and maybe like the top ten or something. I think there's a way that there's a no and there's a way that there's a team in the American that can sneak their way into the top ten and get themselves that coveted New Year's Six Bowl, at the very least. Um, at the very least, we've already talked about Oklahoma, Texas, uh, the start. Uh, Michigan, they're taking on Illinois. Who cares? Uh, Bama's taking on A&M. That's also one who cares. Um, not sure why CBS picked that game for their 330 game again. It's weird. Don't know why they did it. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Got to show off that Alabama favoritism, you know. Uh, Michigan State taking on Wisconsin. You know, that's going to be a tough game for Wisconsin, despite the fact that Michigan State has two losses. Um, you know, it's going to be a real tough game, I think. Um, Florida State taking on Clemson. We don't know which Florida State's going to show up against Clemson. We don't know if Clemson's going to, you know, just, you know, just are they going to be able to do anything in that game um, at all that really shows us that they're one of the better teams in the country? Because right now, Clemson has not looked like one of the better teams in this country. Um, they have not. 
they, they struggled against North Carolina last time we saw them, you know. And I think it could be the same case um, on Saturday. Um, Washington State taking on Arizona State. You know, Arizona State still ranked somehow, I think. That's what it says on my screen. Uh, they're still ranked somehow. It is what it is. Cincinnati's ranked. Um, they only have... They only have one loss, and that was to Ohio State. You know, you can't, you can't do anything about that because Ohio State's been rolling. Um, they're taking on Houston. Houston's done, Houston's done some things, you know, um, despite being, you know, um, not great. Um, they did what they needed to do a couple weeks ago when they took on my UNT, Mean Green, and they just whooped us, straight up whooped us. It wasn't even close. Um, Clayton Toon. And guys like that, you know, Holgerson's, Holgerson's got some kind of weird magic to where he can just, you know, win games like that, you know, win games against a, win games against a team that's really hungry, you know. Um, Texas Tech taking on Baylor. Baylor is still ranked number twenty-two. They're still undefeated, and, and I believe Wake Forest is still on. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, Texas Tech is taking on Texas Tech is taking on those dot known those dot known Baylor Bears. They are taking on those Baylor Bears. And I was indeed right. Wake Forest is still undefeated. So Wake Forest is still undefeated. They're number 19 in the nation, maybe. Uh, is Louisville gonna show up in that game? I don't know. There's been a couple different Louisvilles that have shown up for games that haven't shown up for games, you know, in a way. I don't know. I've only watched the one game that Louisville had against Notre Dame on, on Labor Day, so I wouldn't know. Um, really just going to pay attention to the ranked games and stuff like that, you know. Um, but Wake Forest is sneaky good. Could they challenge Clemson? I don't know. They got to make it all the way to that Clemson game first. Um Penn State, Iowa, that's going to be a, a one heck of a game. You know, Iowa's defense is really good. Penn State's offense has been really good, so I think it'll be an interesting matchup right there. You know, haven't really seen Penn State all that much this year, so this will be the first time that we get to really see them in action. Uh, USC taking on Notre Dame. Uh, it, it could be a trap game for Notre Dame. It could it, it could end their season like, like that, you know. Could end their season like that. You never know. But I'm sure Brian Kelly, Ian Book, and those guys will have something for USC. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But Notre Dame, because I mean, they're just kind of, eh, they're just kind of, just kind of there. You know, they could easily just cruise to victory for the rest of the games, where they could trip up, trip up and lose again. You know. Um, LSU, Florida. Oh my goodness! It is going to be one hell of a game there. That that is going to be the other game that I'm going to keep my eyes on on that Saturday night. It's going to be one good game. Florida, they want to prove themselves. They're, they're trying to prove themselves. Uh, people have been saying, "Oh, well, Florida's offense is not that great." You know, you know, it's Florida's defense. You know, they don't. They really don't have a quarterback. You know, they got they got Kyle Trey. Got Trask. They got Trask back there, but he's gone too, I believe. Now I don't know if he's injured with something else or not. But um, but Florida, they got a big, big test taking on LSU spread offense. And Joe Burrow has been lighting it up uh, against inferior competition, mostly and Texas. Um, you know, mostly inferior competition. You know, that Texas game was one hell of a game, as we all know. Uh, but Florida and LSU, they're going to tangle, and it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting affair. I don't know what in the world's going to happen in that game, but you know, you know, you know, there's going to be something. There's going to be something that goes into that game that's going to be like, man, how did we get here? You know, man. Really, it's just a matter of is Florida's defense going to be able to stop Joe Burrow? It really, that's really the, all, it's really the all that matters here. This is. Is Florida's defense going to be able to stop it? Um, got some other games here um, to pretty much close out 
off the slate and whatnot. You know, you thought, you know, Oregon State, Oregon State beat up on UCLA last week. So, you know, could could Oregon State, you know, end Utah's um, sneaky, sneaky bid for, you know, very, very low chance bid anyway for a college football playoff spot? Probably. Who knows? It's the Pac-12, so I don't know. Boy, his state taking on that run and shoot of Hawaii. Uh, I've got nothing for you there. Got nothing for you there. Not, not much really to write home about about Boy his state right now. They're just they're just too dang good. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, Washington, Arizona, but Washington has two losses. Irrelevant. Arizona has two losses. They don't. I believe they still don't have Khalil Tate, so completely irrelevant. So, Pac-12 out the dark is just irrelevant now. Um, yeah, that's week seven in a nutshell. I think it's going to be a interesting, interesting week. You know, from the morning all the way up to the to about ten o'clock at night. It's going to be going to be a very interesting week. You know, hook 'em horns. Uh, Whoever your favorite team is, you know, just come on down, you know, come on down and chat with me for a little bit, um, you know, if you want to, you know, I don't really care. Um, I'm always down for a little chat, you know, somebody, somebody's watching this video, somebody's watching, somebody's watching me ramble about college football, they gotta, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about, I know, I know stuff, I know some things, I don't know everything, but I know some things. Um, so, that being said, everybody, take care, good night. Go on and enjoy the rest of my week. Y'all should too. Take care.